Twelfth month in the time of the eternal, month three, day two, 2024. In dreams, I saw how many cars arrived at a place where there was going to be an evangelistic campaign of final preparation. There, many were present and the speaker began his exhortation. After a few minutes of his rhetoric, a person entered the saloon and said to everyone present, this entire area of this neighborhood has been occupied. No one will be able to go out, not even to your vehicles, if you do not want to be killed with a bullet. From time to time, explosions and shouting could be heard outside. Everything there was in an uproar, and many were terrified and afraid. They went from distant places to hear this speaker, they brought the necessary belongings for the days of this event, and now they could not access them. I saw that the days passed and there they were, without food, lack of water and sleeping next to each other in that great saloon. When their minds were exhausted by hunger and fatigue, one, from outside, opened the door of that great saloon and offered them food and water and a mattress to sleep on in exchange for accepting his imposition. I saw that the majority accepted without hesitation. And three people did not accept. These, who accepted, were able to access their vehicles and return to their normal earthly lives. But, those three people who resisted were taken to a security room and left there, forgotten. I saw them kneel to cry out to the eternal God. I heard their voices of singing to the one who lives forever. And encouraged one another in faith, and prayed to the eternal God for the forgiveness of their sins. After time, the door of that place opened. They did not see who was there, but an angel of heavenly light opened the door for them. Then my mouth opened, and I told them, Come, let's go through this place quietly. In this way they did. The angel was in front of us, I could see him, and everyone was behind him. Thus, having come out of that enormous plain, we entered a forested and steep mountain. And, almost into the night, a light illuminated the path for us. And so we walked all night, until dawn, to a safe place. I didn't see anything else there. Then, at that moment, I woke up. I was meditating on this, and I heard the voice that told me, Pay close attention to Hosea, chapter 4 and chapter 5. It is my request and prayer, beloved brothers that many of us can understand what the Eternal wants to let us know in this hour. For, only in this way will we be safe in Him. May the Lord bless us.